Hi guys, in a previous episode I showed you I bought this radio controlled submarine in a charity shop, £2.49, and it doesn't work. So, we'll see if we can figure out why it doesn't work. It didn't take any charge. I put fresh batteries in here. supposed to do is plug this in here, plug this in here, and it should start charging. But there's nothing happening. I guess the first thing is to check with a meter that we've actually got some voltage coming out of there. Now this meter has been playing up a bit lately, I might say. But certainly we seem to get in, be getting some volts out of there. Whether it's the right reading or not. I'm not saying 8 volts. Uh, so, that part of it's working. There's only one screw visible. We can skip forward a bit now. I spent a lot of time trying to get the submarine apart, but it is well sealed. The central area comes off, but that's just a cover. Inside, it's one solid piece that's well sealed together. There's nothing I can do to get it apart. There's no screws or anything to undo. And it's either um, glued or I think they call it sonic welding, where they do something that makes the plastic stick together. But there is nothing I can do to get it apart, short of taking a hacksaw to it. But, after doing all that, I then wriggled this in the front a bit, and that appears to have cleared the corrosion. You can see in some positions there's no contact. But if I've wriggled it about a bit, that appears to have cleared the corrosion enough to get power into it. So I will now leave it on charge, because it appears to be charging, and see if we can get any power in there. When we've done that, I'll have to glue these little bits back on again that came off when I was trying to get it apart. And then, well, we'll find out. I still doubt whether it's going to take any charge, but we'll have a look in a minute. The light keeps going out to indicate it's fully charged and then I plug it back in again and it comes on again. But nothing's happening from the transmitter. It's not responding to anything. When we test the output from the charger It says about 7.8 volts it's trying to put into it and if I measure the other way, plug that into there, hmm. it's showing a tiny bit of voltage but nothing much and it's dropping away pretty quickly. I would say that the 
battery in there is no good at all. And the only way we can change that is to literally saw it apart. So it's not going to be waterproof when we do that. So, summary. Charity shop junk, really. Or garbage. Shame, it would have been nice if it worked. I might still saw it apart and see if I can change the battery in there. But it's not going to look very good when it's finished.